gonna go look at a, a dug well and it's square. So we're building this well house cover to cover that hole, which is dangerous. It's 20 foot deep. Uh, we don't want anybody falling into it, but we want to cover it. But we also want to go to the bottom of it and see what's down there. So in this video, we plan to do that. Now the well is also close to what we call Trammell's Trace. It's a, it's a north to south run of a wagon trail. The story is from Gary Pinkerton is it was sometimes used for smuggling. So nefarious activities. Camera Girl has been up and down this wagon trail. It's kind of concave like this. And found old wagon wheel parts and stuff. So whether it's Trammel Trace or not, I don't know. But it definitely had wagon wheel parts on it. And it's definitely been there a long time. This well that we're going to be working on is very near it. Within 100 feet of it. And you can see the trail even in Google, Google Maps now. So I'll put a link here to Gary Pinkerton's book he wrote on it. There you go. So all I've got to do is weld this right here. I've got the camera back on purpose because my welds, my welds are are suspect on good pipe, but on oil field pipe that's magnetized, they are terrible. The arc just goes everywhere when you're trying to weld with it, weld on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's see what what's at the bottom of the well. transition from steel to wood so what we got is little pieces of angle iron to hold the two by fours from the sawmill this is all one by down here all this will be skinned over with this used tin behind me on this trailer and the tin has holes in it but it, in this case it doesn't really matter if a little drip comes through the roof so these are uh, we'll be drilling through this angle iron into this wood and then the tin will lay on top. So is this the cover that's going on the 100 year old well that we found? That's the plan. I'm cutting the uh, tin right now to go on the, putting the skin on it. So all the construction's done. Where'd this tin come from? This came off our house, the hay barn. We pulled this off in like 2012, we pulled it off the house that we now live in that was a hay barn and we kept it because we thought it looked awesome and I, how many jobs have you used oh this for? Oh my god, I can't count them. go something like this. Like that.
I decided to rip some fascia boards to put on the gable, gable ends. Hey, quit snorting at me. about do it and when I go to mill this boards these boards what generally happens on something like this is it starts the diving board effect so I just have to go through it slow let's start the 64 case and get this over with
This was my first building structure out of two and three eighths oil field pipe. And I found it difficult to stay a square. In other words, just on a two by four or two by six construction, you could just stick your tape out and get a measurement and check for square. But with this thing, it's just difficult because of the pipe. You have to kind of go from the center of the pipe and you just can't grab it with your tape measure, so. It looks like it. Yep. Ta da! So we got to get these cattle panels out here and then mow all this down clean. And then we'll go down the bottom and see what we can find. Trammel's Trace, it's just beyond that tin that's laying over there. Okay, so here's the, what we're gonna go down hole with. It's a clamshell post hole digger. It's got a patent date of August 24th, 1908 or nine or something like that. Let me bring you in here tight so you can see it. So we got a TD around 20 feet. Anyway, here's the adjustable part right here. So it probably goes from eight to 12 inches or so. It says something about, it's got somebody's initials, the specialty. Made in the USA and number two. So this is early 1900s. That should be just fine for this well. Matches up good. So here's what I was thinking about doing to get the, the bit back on here. Just take this um, worn out sickle bar cutter, put it on my forge, and, and try to match the curvature of this clamshell here and either brad it back on here or weld it. I have to be real careful because this is maybe a sixteenth. So I did that on both of them. It would have some bite to it.
I'm gonna follow that edge right there. I assume it went out like this. So I'm gonna put this right in here like this. I gotta pull it back a little bit because of the uh, the metal has been eaten away by rust. Something about like that right there. I've got this in there so I can adjust the distance between the points. So there's the two points, there's the center, more or less. That looks pretty good. Having a hard time with this right here. This is, I think, supposed to move up and down. And it's rusted. And so if I can move it up, then we can hinge this open right here and dump the load. So what I've done is uh, I've got peanut oil left over from our turkey fries on Thanksgiving. I'm going to sit that, set it in there. This right here is 17 inches to right there, so quite a bit of oil.
milling sweet gum today because these are going to be the planks that we put across the well so I don't fall in. So this will be like our stabbing board, maybe. These are like two and a quarter. Pretty nice. Sweet gum's beautiful. These trees were taken down because they uh, they were in a fence line and I, they were out in the field. It's, it's hard to run bob wire if you're going to build a fence today. with trees in your way. So they won't go to waste. I think this thickness here will be fine for my 180 pounds. We have 14 of these slabs that I can make my driller's floor with. I think that'll be enough. 